Hey there folks, Comic Skatekeeper here. And we have the second part of uh, Doom Patrol story. Uh, they went to the Arctic, they found a base, all dead bodies, and it was all very John Carpentery. And then a terror from the deep arose. So let's continue, shall we? Worlds collide. Yeah, it's believed that the moon was formed from the collision of two objects, part of which fell to Earth. Here we go. Dinosaurs. The cliff's still surrounded by these green monsters. Oh, they've got little homemade spears. They might be intelligent. And now they're wrapping him up good. And now he's going into the big one. Uh-oh. Spaghetti holes. Yep, looks like Cliff is fogged. What is he going to into? Oh, they put him in some kind of bubble. There's loads of other bubbles. Structure of some kind. Yeah, they put him in a pr some kind of organic prison. They're the people that survived the um, Arctic uh, outpost being attacked by one of them. And then she's wandering around with Groot. Is it Groot? I wanted to say Groot, but no. No, she's wandering around with Grunt, not Groot. Oh, she's looking at the uh, the footage. Oh, Negative Man's on the way. Because he can get there instantaneously, because he can travel at light speed. Ah, turns out the Green Beasts have been experimenting on ways to kill humans. They've found a way, obviously, because they're going to release all that shit and kill everything on Earth. Did he just throw his fist? Oh, with Rita inside, so she can escape. Rita's been eaten, but she just rips out of him from the inside. Oh, that's nasty. So what's happening next? Loads of them. And they're releasing the spores. The poisons that are going to kill everyone on Earth into, into the water. I assume it's, there's a way to get out of the lake. So what's Cliff doing? He's pressing something in the back of his head and some stuff's coming out of him. Cliff, what did you do? They've lost cellular integrity, they're falling apart. She squeezed them back up the tube <laughs> in her glove. That's nice. Ah, so now Cliff's going to explain what the hell he did. Although my body's mostly robotic, I still have a human brain that requires blood and food. That blood builds up toxins just like anywhere else. So every 48 hours or so, I have to vent the toxins to a small valve in the back of my skull, usually into a container. These creatures were so f sensitive to environmental change, it took, all that's all it took to kill them. Uh, so the robot beat the bad guys by pissing in their pool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Nudge, yes they did. Oh, that was a bit of a laugh, I liked it. It doesn't have like the um, the sense of foreboding that the last part of the story had when you didn't know what was going on. But yeah, it was. Uh, it had some action. It had some good art, and um, it had a unique and clever way to beat the bad guys, which I always love. Yeah. So two thumbs up again. Okay. Take care, folks. Oh yeah.